Welcome to my channel. Today I am working on a turkey in colored pencil. Uh, this is one of the first times I am working on black paper uh, with colored pencils, so I do struggle with it at times, but we make it through. I decided on a turkey because I've never drawn one before, and I was going to draw a deer because it is hunting season, but they never turn out the way that I want them to look, so turkey it is. Um, deer and turkey remind me of fall, which is my favorite season, and I always hate how Christmas overtakes the season. So I wanted to do something that reminded me of fall without it being Halloween. I am using Color brand colored pencils and then Prismacolor pencils for just the black and white areas. I spend most of the time on the face and the neck of the bird. And then I tried to use the black paper as the darkest parts and the shading of the bird, but I still ended up using a black color pencil to tone down some of the brighter colors. I am working with many light layers to build up the colors. Pushing too hard uh, will burnish the page too early and then you won't be able to add more layers. The more layers you are able to add gives you more depth, even when using the same color over itself. I also used a reference photo and picked out as many colors as I could see in the photo to try to bring as much life as I could into the drawing. Um, I picked out all the colors I wanted to use in the drawing and then after swatching them out on a black piece of paper, I ended up changing out many colors for lighter ones so that way I could get the values that I needed. And getting the lights in the dark wasn't as hard as finding like the mid-tones of the piece. I found that either the color showed up really well or not at all. Um, and then once I get to the feathers, I'll show you how I handle a portion of each feather group and then skip to the next area so you don't get bored watching the same process over and over. But the different feather areas have different processes that I go through to make them look the way they're supposed to. I will also list the colors that I used in this drawing in the description below. If it's something you want to color along with me, you are able to. I always try to start out working on the face of whatever animal I'm working on uh, because I feel that's where the life of the animal is. I didn't know when I started this turkey that they had so many colors in their face and their neck and even each set of feathers had different colors that were dominant and the slight change between each group and even each group having a slightly different pattern than the others. When working with the face, I was trying to work in smaller circles since there wasn't really any feather direction to go with and there were so many slight changes in the color that working in shorter, lighter strokes gave it the best seamless look. Uh, when working with the feathers, I made pencil marks in the direction of the feathers. Uh, this gives each group of feathers the proper direction of growth. Um, with that, I will let you guys enjoy the process and I'll meet up with you later in the video.
guys are going to see, I grew a brain and started erasing the pastel marks uh, before I started in with the colored pencil. So when I initially started working on this black paper, I noticed that you could see every single eraser mark that I made. So I drew the image out on a piece of just printer paper and then put pastel or charcoal on the back and then traced it onto the final sheet of paper. Well, without realizing that the colored pencil wouldn't really ever go completely over the chalk pastel. So um, by the time I made it down to the feathers, I realized that I could just erase it as I go. And so that's what I started doing and it made it a lot easier to get the coverage that I needed from the colored pencil. Um, and you still couldn't see the eraser marks, so I went with that. Each set of feathers had a different dominant color throughout them, but I had used the same colors for each set, if that makes sense. So when I used a color, I would set it off to the side to make sure that within the next set, that color at least appeared in that color set, even if it wasn't the color that was showing the most, to make it more of a uniformed drawing. And then with these back feathers, I did end up making another oopsie. Um, as you can see here, I am drawing in with an actual colored pencil to fill in the feather areas that I didn't draw in with the pastel pencil. Um, there's not a problem with that, except that I used what I didn't realize was a metallic colored pencil. And so going over these lines later whereas if I used a regular colored pencil it would have blended in better. I had a really really tough time going over the metallic. Um, it just repelled every other color that I tried putting on top so in the end I just had to work with what I had.
So here you will see me realize the mistake that I made um, in using the metallic colored pencil, which I don't even know why it was taken out of the container. Um, slight oversight there. Um, what I ended up doing was taking the feathers out further than what I was planning to um, and then making the edges softer in hopes to cover that up. Um, overall, I think I did a pretty good job hiding the fact that the line is going the wrong direction in each feather. And as you get to the bigger feathers, it's a little less noticeable. It's just these soft, fluffy ones that are closer to the turkey itself. And I made a mental note to myself to make sure to always check if the colors are metallic <laughs> before I start drawing with it. Because I actually had to go back and look at the color that I used once I couldn't hide those lines. Here is the end result. Um, I'm gonna show you the shine of the page um, with all the layers that I did put on. It did end up burnishing the page, but it's just from multiple layers. It's not from me pushing hard with any of the pencil. Um, the coloration's a little off because the light's washing it out, but I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think down in the comments.